In this video, we're gonna cover what top of funnel content is and how to use it to grow awareness of your business. We're also gonna talk about some common pitfalls that people fall into when they're building out top of funnel content and how they set themselves up for failure. So it's gonna be a great video. Be sure to watch all the way through and How's it going everybody? My name is Brandon Brashears and this is the Digital Marketing Madman channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to improve your business with digital marketing, if you want to get more sales, more leads, more awareness, then be sure to subscribe. I create daily marketing videos here to teach you tricks and tips that will help you to grow your business. All right, so let's get into this video. Today we're going to be talking about awareness content. Now, I made a video that was about the funnel in general. So the funnel is made up of three parts. You have the top of funnel, which is the awareness. You have the middle of funnel, which is evaluation. And then you have the bottom of the funnel, which is conversion. So we're going to be talking about top of funnel awareness. If you wanted to go back and take a look at that other video where I talk about how all the pieces fit together, be sure to click that card up in the corner and you can go see that. But be sure to pause this video and open it in a new window because you're definitely going to want to come back for this video. So awareness is very important. If somebody doesn't know about your business, there's no way for them to do business with you, right? That makes total sense. You can't buy something from someone if you don't know if the company exists, right? How could you know that you wanted to buy an electric car if you didn't know Tesla existed, right? That's just a really simple example. But until you know a product or service exists, you're not able to do business with them. So this is very important, typically in building out content and funnels and things. Um, it's important that you're continuing to attract new people to your business because if you don't attract new customers and new clients ultimately your business will die and start to starve itself so building out awareness is very very important one thing i will say though is that if you are looking to increase your roi in your business typically starting at the awareness phase is not something that immediately impacts roi so if you're looking to inject more sales or build referrals or things like that, you're going to want to focus on the bottom of the funnel, just because typically that's where ROI is measured. One other thing that I'm going to note here is that when you're building out awareness campaigns, when you have increase in awareness, it's not a linear correlation typically with sales. So you're, you'll have typically more views and, and more likes and comments and shares and things, but that doesn't necessarily always translate into more sales. We need to have a bridge between awareness and conversion typically, and so that's done through offers and evaluation and retargeting. I hope that makes sense, but these typically are called uh, vanity metrics at this stage of the funnel, and there's a reason for that. You can't deposit likes, you can't deposit comments, you can't deposit subscribers, right? You need to be selling products and services to increase your ROI on your ad campaigns. That being said, you can't build ad campaigns without having awareness. So they're definitely important, but they're not linear. Uh, they're not a linear correlation. And I just wanted to make that note really quick here to give you some good expectations on what you should expect. So awareness content are things like blog posts, pictures on Instagram, posts on social network, um, videos that you make for your business, live streams, things like that. You're creating content, and ultimately the goal here is that we're going to be trying to attract your ideal customers. If you don't know who your ideal customer is, that's the first place that you need to start. Click the card up in the corner, and I'm going to go over three very specific questions that will help you get clear on who your target is. So once we have content created, and you should be creating content for your business, hopefully on a very consistent schedule, I like to suggest starting off with at least once a month. If you can create a con piece of content that is very helpful, and I know that business owners are very, very busy, and so creating content is something that is very difficult. But if you can create one piece of content a month, that's at least better than nothing. And so the content that you should be creating should work out in a way that it's attracting your ideal customer. I like to create content that shows off your personality, what your values are, and who you're trying to attract. Things like memes are great because it helps to get a lot of awareness. You get shares and likes and comments. And I like to add humor as much as possible at this stage because when you have something funny or interesting or entertaining, it gets a lot more traction. At this stage of the funnel, it really needs to be funny, entertaining, light, or it needs to be very, very helpful. We're trying to create content that's going to be shared easily and that people will engage with easily, and it's going to help to segment your audience so that you can re -off remarket to these people different offers and ways to further the relationship. So if you are a realtor, for example, doing live streams of open houses that you're doing, 
if you are a veterinarian doing live stream Q and A's, if you're a plumber doing live Q and A's or talking about crazy things that happen that you see out on the job, right? We're trying to inject as much personality as possible because there's a lot of really boring brands out there. People like to do business with people that they know, like, and trust. And typically they like businesses that they can engage and relate with. So don't be too serious when you're creating content. I think that's one of the problems that I see a lot of times with businesses and brands is that they're super serious and they're afraid to show any personality. So as much as possible, show personality, be interesting, be entertaining, and be helpful. If you're those three things, you're going to do really, really well. At this stage of the funnel, we're measuring likes, comments, shares, clicks, time on site, bounce rate, things that are technically considered vanity metrics. And we're not measuring ad spend on return on ad spend specifically. At sometimes at this stage of the funnel, depending on what your product and service is, you may get sales. If you're an e-commerce business and you're selling t-shirts, for example, and you're sending people to a blog post or a video, there is a chance that you could get sales. But ultimately, that's not the objective here. The objective is that we're building retargeting audiences, we're building click lists and retargeting lists so that we can then show them the next step of the offers. So that's things like lead magnets, webinars, uh, basically taking the next step in the relationship. So here we're just measuring, again, top of funnel metrics. And typically when I see people that say, you know what, digital marketing doesn't really work for me. There's not an ROI in it. Usually they're only focusing on top of funnel activities and they're not getting people to take the next step in the relationship and they're not driving people through a funnel. So it's extremely, extremely important that you're using top of funnel content alongside other types of content, which will hopefully drive them to offers. If you need help with this, please be sure to comment below or go to maverickdigitalmarketing.com. You can get a free marketing brainstorming session where we can talk about marketing ideas. But it's important that you're layering top of funnel content on middle of funnel content on bottom of funnel content. Otherwise, you're not going to be generating return on investment, like I said. Now that being said, now, now that you understand that top of funnel content is important because you need to be generating people who are aware of your business, aware of what you do, and engaging with the content that you create, it's also important that you have the next stages of the funnel. So typically a good thing to do is to create a content plan. I actually created an hour long training. If you click the card, you can check it out, where I go over how to create an in-depth content plan. And I created a 12 month marketing planner, which is right here. You can go to Amazon and get that too. If you go to amazon.com and search for Brandon Brashears, so I'll also link it in the description of this video. But it's very, very important that you have all of the pieces of marketing working together so that you can drive people through your funnel and into a place where you're generating a positive return on ad spend. Again, it's just a waste of money if you're only trying to get likes and shares and comments, that's not going to help you grow your business. You need to also build out the bottom of the funnel, which is what we're going to talk about in the next two videos where we cover the middle of funnel awareness, I'm sorry, middle of funnel evaluation, and then the bottom of funnel conversion. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, and please consider subscribing. If you ever need any help with anything, please comment below. Happy to help and offer advice. So have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video.